My name is Shane Kingston and I am the owner of Aspire Nutrition and Strength and Conditioning Coach. Aspire is an online nutrition coaching service which aims to find a system that works for you while supplying you with education, tools, skills and habits to build a sustainable approach to reach your goals, whether that be weight loss, performance or overall health. My philosophy is that you need to make nutrition as easy and as enjoyable as possible in order to adhere to the plan long term. Today I hope to give ye an insight into what my day to day life looks like, show ye how I currently manage my own nutrition and training, how I plan my day to maximise my productivity and why I do the things I do. So I'm guys just throwing up the programme this morning for the 7am class, it's 10 to now, so we'll have people coming in for the class in about 10 minutes and then I have a PT after that, um, so I'll do a bit of coaching for two hours now and catch up with you afterwards. So this morning I'm out after doing my tours of coaching. I didn't have any breakfast this morning because I'm dieting down at the moment. Uh, so I prolong my breakfast for as long as possible. So it's now like half nine. First meal of the day is going to be a leek omelet um, with egg whites and two whole eggs. So I'm just making enough there for myself and Eamon. And we're gonna have oats with almond milk and blueberries with the halves and those. So I'm just gonna whisk that up, chop it with a leek and get it going. Okay, so that's cooked for a few minutes. The base is cooked. The top tip, if you're ever cooking an omelet, never flip it. Always put on the grill on high and show it under there for a minute or two and it will come out way better and less risk of breaking up. Gotcha. Top tip. <laughs> Protein cheese on top. So this actually isn't even that nice. I just bought it and I want to use it. And everybody likes kind of cheesy omelet anyway. Boom. So I always like my oats kind of sweet. So what I use is my protein flavor drops, they have a lot of different flavors. This one's toffee, so just put a few drops of that in. You don't need much, maybe just about eight to ten drops. You want some too? Yep. Put some of them in. Then we're going to use a bit of cinnamon, just a quick sprinkle on both. We'll mix that up then, add in blueberries to both of them, and then we have our leek omelette with a bit of cheese on top and that's a typical enough breakfast a bit of effort but when you're dieting down i always think putting a bit of effort into your food makes it that bit easier and you appreciate it a bit more as well rather than just counting calories into it i wish i found some better sounds no one's ever heard i wish i had a better voice to sing some better words i wish i found some chords in an order that is new i wish i didn't have to rhyme every time i sang I was told when I get older all my fears would shrink But now I'm insecure and I care what people think My name's Blurry Face and I So we're just in Starbucks in Manhattan I usually come here just to get a change of scenery and do a bit of work but I also meet my clients here Even though Aspire is like online nutrition coaching business I do like to meet people at the start or beginning and maybe halfway through whatever block of program they're doing But most importantly it's time for a coffee But now just Okay, so clean cement and Starbucks, got a good bit of work done. Just popped in Tesco's there, and what we have is sourdough, sourdough hamburger buns, some leaves, and turkey burgers. So we're gonna go home, make up big salad and turkey burger, 
and this is kind of downtime now for an hour or two before I go and train and coach for the evening then as well. Just after chopping up, making a big salad, so just having mixed leaves, tomato, cucumber, beetroot, and now we're having two turkey burgers each as well. So we're gonna give us a decent hit of protein, load of micronutrients, the average one for our carbohydrates, and then we're gonna have some avocado to get some healthy fats in as well. Okay, so two things about salads that I found helpful are avocados, try to buy the baby ones if possible, so you can see here, they're just that size, they do nice one portion, a big avocado tends to be too much calories, and salad dressings, Tesco's Healthy Living, Caesar, usually really high calorie dressing, this guy has 10 calories per 15 mils, so again, really good to add a bit of flavour for not much calories. So that's lunch down guys, pretty full after it. I'm gonna let that digest for about 30 minutes, get a cup of coffee into me, and go train then for about an hour, hour and 20 minutes. And then the rest of the evening then is used for coaching. Two classes, two PTs, and we'll see you then. So the most valuable thing that I've learned since I have set up Aspire Nutrition, been working for myself and running my own business, is maybe not to be too hard on yourself. I used to always feel really guilty if I wasn't putting every waking moment into the business that any time I was just relaxing, I felt bad for not putting in the effort towards the business. So what I'd recommend is be a little bit kinder to yourself, allow yourself to chill out, because if you keep putting in all that effort, it would be a for sure way to kind of burn out, lose interest, and not be as productive. So what I always do is, before I go to bed, I have some kind of a plan what I want to get done the next day and I also just so do that at the start of the week. The next morning then after I've done my coaching and got my walk, what I'll do is make that list out a little bit more exact, but I'll also number them in priority of what I have to get done. And I'll also be a little exposed, yeah, kinder to myself that I will ensure that what I put down I will definitely get done and then if I've extra time I get something else done. So that way I know that I've ticked all the boxes off rather than feeling stressed that I didn't get everything finished, I'll feel like I've achieved what I wanted to achieve and I might get that extra bit done instead of always carrying things forward later in the week. Alright guys, I am just done with the day now, so just home from coaching. Um, when I come home, it's generally around half eight, nine o'clock, and I'm in no mood at all to cook. So what I do on a Monday or a Sunday is I prep my meals. So what I have here is just a big chilli. Uh, it takes the same time to cook one meal as it does to cook four. So I cook all the four meals for the week. I don't mind eating the same thing for dinner because I vary up my lunch and my breakfast when I have more time. So that's dinner sorted. For the rest of the evening now, I basically just chill out and call over to my girlfriend's house, watch with the telly, and plan 
on my phone just when I go to bed what tomorrow is going to consist of and besides that we just wake up and do the same thing again maybe a little bit different and that's pretty much it so that is my day in the life video wrapped up guys I hope you enjoyed it and it showed you what I do day to day basis and got a few tips from it as well if you want to get in touch my details will be in the description if you want any help managing your own nutrition or if you have any questions in general about anything you saw today as well cheers guys thank you Saying, wake up, you need to make